Around the world, one in five children misses out on life-saving vaccines. Why? One reason is the challenge of keeping vaccines in a cold chain, between 2 to 8 degrees Celsius at all times, from the factory where they are made, all the way to the children who receive them. Most vaccine licenses state that they are safe and effective, as long as they are kept in the cold chain. But maintaining this cold chain places great demands on the country's resources. Adequate cold chain capacity is a very important component for the health system, specifically for the immunization system. And implementation of this, this cold chain requires fridge and freezers at different levels of the system, of course. And this is time consuming and very costly for the countries. But a better, more efficient and cost-effective way to conduct immunization campaigns is possible. Some vaccines can be exposed to higher temperatures for a limited amount of time and still be safe and effective. Once this kind of thermostability has been proven, a new practice known as the Controlled Temperature Chain, or CTC, can be applied during the last mile. This approach enables a vaccine to be taken out of the traditional 2 to 8 degrees Celsius cold chain and stored, transported and used at ambient temperature for a limited period prior to administration. MSF is interested in, in CTC because every year we deliver between 4 to 10 million doses of vaccines through mass vaccination campaigns. Uh, and some of these campaigns are conducted in uh, very remote areas or in crisis settings with huge constraints. So we, we consider that the implementation of the cold chain is one of the biggest barriers to, uh, to vaccination responses. According to the World Health Organization, vaccines labelled for CTC must be 1. Licensed by the appropriate regulatory authorities for use in a CTC, with a product label that specifies these conditions. 2. Able to tolerate exposure to temperatures of up to at least 40 degrees Celsius. 3. Able to be taken out of the 2 to 8 degrees Celsius cold chain for single excursion during a minimum of three days just prior to administration. The difference between CTC and out of the cold chain is really one of specifications. Out of the cold chain has no limit in terms of where it's being used, the vaccine is being used, what the temperature it's being used at, or the time frame that it's in a temperature that's beyond the 2 to 8 degree range. The controlled temperature chain is um, very specific about when the vaccine is used other than at 2 to 8 degrees for how long it can be used and at what temperature, up to what temperature it can be used. Four conditions need to be met for a vaccine to be approved for CTC. It underwent stability testing. It has been licensed by the appropriate regulatory authorities. It has been pre-qualified by WHO. And it has been approved for use in the country of use in advance of its introduction. We're no longer at an experimental phase. Once a vaccine has a CTC label, it is exactly the same as a normal vaccine that is on the market. It just has an authorization for use in a controlled temperature chain. So this is not a pilot, this is not a test. Experience has already shown that CTC brings four considerable advantages. One, reduced costs, time and energy. Fewer resources are needed since refrigerators and cool packs are no longer required. Two, easier transportation. Vaccines in a CTC without ice packs take up less space and weigh less, making them far easier to transport. Three, facilitated coverage. With easier transportation and fewer resource requirements, vaccinators can stay out in the field longer and carry more vaccines providing services to those in hard-to-reach areas more easily. Four, assured vaccine quality. Without the worry of vaccines accidentally freezing, the quality and potency of the vaccine is maintained. Furthermore, the vial remains in better conditions, thanks to the removal of ice packs, which create humidity and an increased risk of the vial label coming off. Analysis has shown that CTC can reduce campaign implementation costs in a given district by up to 50%. The benefit of CTC have proven to be tremendous, specifically in the region where sources of electricity are not reliable. And we know that health workers struggle daily to keep the vaccine cold and deliver on time. 
CTC, less infrastructure, lower costs, and reaching a greater population.